Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on a line graph and <clears throat> it says that a college has two programs, VTEC and MBA. The number of students in them are 600 and 750 respectively. Placements are held from Jan to May and this graph gives the cumulative percentage of students placed during the period in the two departments and a couple of information is given to us and then we are given a table which gives the number of girls who are placed from BTEC as a percentage of BTEC students and the number of boys who are placed from MBA as a percentage of MBA students in each of the months. Okay, so basically we can get the number of girls and boys placed in, uh, uh, in these departments uh, from the total number of students. Okay, now this graph is a cumulative graph. Okay, and we have some variables like PQR as being used. We are asked the value of R, we, we are asked to use the value of P and uh, <clears throat> a couple of more questions. So how do we proceed in this is, we will make a table. Uh, in this, we will make month wise placement, January, February, March, April and May. <clears throat> we will do month wise and we will also do cumulative placement. Okay. So let us do the both things for, uh, so this is, uh, let us say this is MBA and this is BTEC. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we will say month and cumulative. Similarly, month, what happened in that, how many people were placed in that month and the cumulative one. So uh, some of the values are already given to us, we can use that directly and rest we will use from the statements. Now if you see this, uh, in May it is 75% of BTEC. So MBA we are given that uh, BTEC 600 and MBA 750. Okay, so quite a large batch in MBA. Okay, 80%, so that means still here it is 600 and 75% it is 450. Okay, similarly, if you look at February, it is 25%. So 25% of uh, this is 150 and 50% of MBA till March. So 50% March till March, we have 375. So we do not know these values, P percent, Q percent, R percent. It is not also written that it is meant to scale or not. So better use the conditions and try to find out. It says number of students placed from MBA and BTEC in February are 75 and 30. So in February, we have uh, 75 from MBA and 30 from BTEC. Okay, so this means that uh, after two months, it is 150. So BTEC in first, must, first month must be uh, 120. Okay, then only you will get cumulative 150, right? Similarly, number of students placed from MBA and BTEC in April are 75 and 120. So 75 and 120 in April. Now, if you see this 73, 75 are already placed, 75 more get placed, so this becomes 450, okay? And uh, 450 are already placed, we need to place 150 more students so that we get 600 cumulative here. Now, how will we solve this is by using the graph, okay? So if you see this in BTEC, in January, we have P percent. Right, P percent will be 20 percent because 600 students, 120 are placed, so 20 percent. Okay, 20 percent of this will be 150. So like this, we will fill the table. So in January, total 150 MBA students are placed. So 75 here, so it becomes 225. Okay, 225, that means we have 150 more, so that this becomes 375. So this is done. Now what we will do is, we will find the remaining values also like uh, uh, let us find QRS. So till February, Q percent of MBA students are placed. So Q percent is 225 by 750, that is 30 percent. Q is 30 percent. And then uh, if you look at since we have filled MBA, we can find the value of S also. So in uh, April, till April, we have 450 MBA per students placed. Right, so 450 by 750, it is 60%. So S is 60%. Now in BTEC also, we have 60% student placed till 
April. So 60% means this will be 360. Okay, 360. This means that 120 was placed from here. So till uh, till this month March, there must be 240 students placed. Okay, and this will be 90. So basically, cumulative is the total till here. So 120, 120 plus 30, 150, 150 plus 90, 240, 240 plus 120, 360. And similarly, we will get 90 here. So this table completes the number of students placed in each of these months. Okay. Now we need to find these percentages. So we have calculated P, we have calculated Q, S. Although it is not asked, maybe it could have been asked to make it a six question set. But I have included only four questions in this set. Okay. Now, if I ask you the value of R, right, there is a question, what is the value of R? So, R percent of BTEC students are placed till March. So, in March, if we see that 240 students of BTEC are placed. So, 240 means 40 percent. So, the value of R is 40. Now, the next question is, in which other month other than January, P percent of BTEC students got placed? So, P percent is 20. 20% of VTEC students matla 120 VTEC students. So apart from January, in April we have 120 VTEC students being placed. Okay, so that is the answer. What is the least number of boys placed in a month from both the departments? How many girls from MBA were placed till March? So that is the thing that we need to calculate in this. Okay, now uh, we have filled partial information. We need to find the number of boys and girls also placed from BTEC and uh, MBA. Okay. So let us say we will write boys this side and girls this side. Similarly, boys this side and girls this side. Now, percent of girls placed as a total number of BTEC students. So we have 600 BTEC students. So 15% 15, 15 means 90, 2.5% means 15, 10% means 60. Okay. And then we have 12%. 12% is 72 and 8% is 48. Now we have the total number of students placed in that month. So we know the number of girls placed. We can find the number of boys placed in that particular month. All right. So let us find these values also. So 120 students are placed, 90 are girls, 30 will be boys. 30 students are placed, 15 are girls, 15 will be boys. 60, 90 students are placed, 60 girls, 30 boys. 120 students placed, 72 are girls, 48 will be boys. Uh, 90 students placed, 48 girls, so 42 will be boys. Right? So this is done. Now we need to find for uh, total number of MBA students. So like we will do the same activity. Here we are given the percentage of boys. So 12% uh, of 750, right? It is percentage of boys as a total number of MBA students. So 12% is 90. 8% is 60, 10% is 75, 6% 45 and 16% is 120. Okay. Now 150 students placed, that means 60 girls will be placed. 75 students placed, 60 are boys, 15 will be girls. 150 students placed, 75 are boys, so 75 will be girls. 75 students placed and 6%, uh, 45 are uh, boys. So 30 will be girls and the last is 150 students and 120 are boys. So 30 will be girls. So this is how we will fill the complete data, right? In terms of number of students placed every month and the number of boys students, boys placed every month and the number of girls placed every month for both BTEC as well as MBA. Okay. Now the next thing is let us answer the remaining two questions. What is the least number of boys placed in a month from both the departments together? Okay, so we have to find a total number of boys. So in this case, we have 120 in January, we have 120 boys placed, 15, 60, 75, that looks the least. Or do we have any other value? That looks the least. Okay, so this is 105, which is definitely not the least. This is 93 and this is 162. So least number of boys in a single month is 75. It is asking from both the departments together. So that we will uh, accept. Okay. Next is how many girls from MBA were placed till March? So this is MBA and the girls placed till March are 75 plus 75, 150. So that was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.